Hi there, my name is Casey, and I'm a technical instructor for the Insight Technical Training Institute in Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. You can find us online at www.insighttraining.com, and also be sure to uh, visit us at www.techpros.us. At some point in time, you've probably been asked, hey, what's your IP address? Well, this brief tutorial is going to actually help you find that. First, locate the Windows icon at the lower left corner of your screen aka the start button. You will notice that the first item from the bottom is a new search feature in Vista and 7. Type CMD from the command line utility in the search box and hit the enter button. You can now type in IPCONFIG or IPConfig. Then hit the enter button. Depending on your system, a bunch of different numbers will appear across your screen. Search for a line that says IP address or IP version 4 address. Next to that, you will see four sets of numbers divided by a period. For example, 192.168.1.9 as shown here. You can find other useful information on the screen as well. Take a look at your subnet mask and default gateway. When you're done with this screen, just go ahead and type in EXIT and hit enter. Because Microsoft likes to give you a couple of different ways of doing the exact same thing, I'm going to show you another way you can actually find your IP address. If you go back down to that start button in the bottom left hand corner, click on that and then click on control panel. When the control panel opens, you'll notice a bunch of different links. I want you to go over to the network and sharing center, probably be somewhere around the middle of your screen. Next, find your local area connection and click on that link. Once that window pops up, click on the details button. Again, just search for the line that says IP address or IP version 4 address and you'll see your IP address right there. Just like we saw previously with the command line utility, there's other relevant and useful information you can find in this window as well. When you're done with this window, just go ahead and click on the close button. So that's it. Pretty simple, right? Now the next time somebody asks you what your IP address is, you can easily find it. I hope this was helpful to you, and keep checking back with us as we will be uploading new tips and tricks very often. If you have a techie question that you would like us to help you with, or a tutorial you would like to see, send us an email at info at techpros.us. And again, thanks for watching.